Um, so today we're learning how to install and run Apache Secure Web Server on Linux, and I'm using Fedora. So the command in blue line, that's the first thing we need to do. We need to install a web server, and that's the command, and then it's going to ask for password. And yeah, it's going to ask for a bunch of permissions, say yes, and voila, it's done. So after that, we need to uh, install HTTPD. We, the command to do that is here. And yeah, that's done as well. Okay, so once that is done, um, we need to change some, I mean, uh, we need to change some service ports in the firewall. Um, and to do that, this is a command, sudo firewall cmd blah blah blah. Okay, and it says it's already enabled because I already did it. And once that's done, we have to run this command to reload it because we changed a file. So now we need to reload it to save the changes. Okay, so once that's done, we can go to any web browser and um, just check if it worked by going to localhost. If this page is visible, it means it worked and the Apache Secure Web Server is installed. Alrighty, now we're learning how to configure web server to use the public HTML folder for all users. So to configure this file, we would need to access as root. So just do su root, enter your password, and then write this command. So once we enter here, there are specific places where we just need to change somewhat, like this line um so this was not a command we made it a command um so this i think enables user directories and uh yeah user directory public html this was a command we removed that and made it like a normal line and here allow allow override all uh, you have to add all here and options add none here yeah i guess that's it okay so once we're done with that we can just run this command to restart httpd and save our changes okay so next what we're doing is creating a simple web page Okay, so next we just have to run these two commands. Alright, so now we're in the main folder which is var www html and inside that I've created this directory. It's called public html and then um, inside this public html there is this file called index.html. And um, this is just a simple um, HTML code. And our web page creation is done. Okay, now we're going to test the page that we created. So um, this was a local host page. I'm just gonna write the name of the directory where I made my index page which is public HTML. Yep, here it is. User directory test page one. So that was a success.